Уважаемые коллеги, We continue our deliberations now in the ex extended makeup, extended format. Our delegations have joined in. As the agenda prescribes, we will look at the relevant issues of uh, BRICS activities, primarily in the economic domain. BRICS countries play a very important part in the global economy. By the end of last year, cumulative GDP of BRICS countries was in excess of $32 trillion. Since the foundation of the BRICS group, it's a growth of 60%. And now we account for around 30% of global GDP. BRICS produces one-third of global uh, industrial output and half of the agricultural output. We have huge human capital. 43% of global population reside in BRICS countries. We are a huge consumer market with the growing demand for modern goods and services. Close cooperation in economic sphere makes BRICS countries more and more interrelated. In Intra-BRICS trade keeps growing and the growth versus 2009 is 70%. And Russia's trade with uh, BRICS countries has doubled. Last year, BRICS economies accounted for 20.5% of global foreign direct investment. In 2009, it was only at 16.9%. With this, we see the increase of our countries in capital investments flowing to global markets from 9.7% to 14%. Russian presidency attains unflagging uh, attention to better economic cooperation within BRICS, and we see the backing of all the BRICS partners of ours, and uh, we are grateful to you for this, dear colleagues. Considerable work was done to implement last year's decisions, decisions of the summit held in Fortaleza. One of the main important uh, achievements is the launch of the CRA and the New Development Bank. Our countries have concluded the ratification procedures to establish these two entities. We have prescribed the working procedure for the contingent reserve arrangement and uh, uh, designated the leadership and India's representative Mr. Kamat is to preside and four vice presidents from Russia, Brazil, China and South Africa will assist him. The CRA has the capital of $100 billion that will give us an opportunity to timely and adequately respond to market fluctuations. The new bank, in its turn, has the capital of $100 billion as well, will carry out large-scale development projects in our countries. We hope that the first projects will be launched early next year. As we have seen today, meeting BRICS Business Council members, our corporates are ready to establish JVs and increase joint investment and mutual trade. Out of the documents that we prepared to sign as a result of the summit, we have the strategy for BRICS economic partnership till 2020 that has the goal set to enhance the competitiveness of our economies on global markets and make ties in energy, high-tech, agriculture, science and education more solid and firm. The Russian side has prepared a draft that roadmap of investment cooperation within BRICS. We hope that our partners will contribute to the composition of that roadmap and want to finalize the work till the end of the year. We have carried out consultations with our business community and included around 50 projects and business initiatives in the roadmap. Among them are a proposal to establish an energy association, create an international energy research center, and a union of smelting industry representatives. 
as well as we can see big prospects in using navigation systems such as GLONASS. Russian companies are interested in cooperation in manufacturing of medical and electronic equipment, software, and in other fields as well. We also suggest that a mechanism for joint research of competition could be launched as well as uh, for unification of uh, and harmonization of antitrust regulation. We should be in cooperation on trade and my, uh, on labor and migration uh, of the working force. And today we have had a substantive talk with the trade unions leaders, and they supported our initiative to hold uh, relevant ministries meeting shortly. We attain huge importance to cultural cooperation within BRICS. We want to enhance people to people contacts between our countries and uh, draft co uh, we have prepared a cooperation on uh, an agreement on cultural cooperation that is due to be signed today by our culture ministers and uh, for during the Russian presidency we for the first time had the civil parliamentary and youth forums and we are now creating a network university of BRICS and looking at the possibility of uh, uh, establishing a council of regions we will also launch the international uh, the virtual secretariat, which will be a joint web portal, and it will make it easier for our countries to cooperate. And the broad public will have access to uh, information about BRICS activities. These and other solutions of the Russian presidency have been incorporated in the UFA declaration and plan of action. These comprehensive documents to be approved as a result of our meeting set forth key goals and tasks not only for the upcoming year but even for a broader perspective and broader timeline. Thank you for the attention and now let me yield to Narendra Modi, Indian Prime Minister that is to take over the presidency in BRICS next year. Thank you.